So it is year four of College Football Weekly, and Mike Robinson has been with us each and every year as our Toledo analyst. You hear him every week on the sidelines for the Toledo Rocket Radio Network. And Mike Robinson, we're so pleased to have you back this year. It seems like the last couple of seasons, the Rockets have been searching for that Logan Woodside replacement. Injuries have hurt, but now you got Carter Bradley. It's his job. It's definitely his job, and thanks for having me back here too, Mark. You know, um, it's great to be here with all the Rocket fans and just talking Rocket football. I can't believe it's football season for sure. You know, that's first and foremost. But let's get into it. Carter Bradley, he is the guy. He's been the golden child for a while in this Toledo football program. People have been screaming to have him on the field since they found out he was a four-star. His dad's an NFL coach. It's been a lot of hype around this young man. He's had a little bit of a learning curve, but you know what? I think it's about time that he now unleashes what he's been practicing under Jason Campbell offense so I think at this quarterback spot we're going to see a veteran QB who can control the offense who can throw the ball we know that but he also uses his legs really well with a veteran team around him. Carter's got a couple of offensive weapons that are going to make his job much easier that are local guys you got Brian Kobach the Springfield grad in the running back position and then Bryce Mitchell from Bowser at the receiver we've been watching these two guys play football for a long long time and they are blossoming as Rockets. Absolutely. I mean, Kobach to come back to Toledo, I mean, it was like he was on the fringe of committing. Then he went to Kentucky and came back. We're just happy to have him back in the 419. And you know what? We want to get him back to that form. In 2019, we were second team all league. He ran up the uh, ran up the MAC, did an excellent job. Last year, you know, a little bit of everything kind of happened for the Rockets. It was COVID, you know. But at the same time, this is a football team that got Bryce Harris back up front that's going to help that run game where you have Brian Kobach with Jacquez Stewart and the rest of the crew out there to help him out running the rock and then you talk about Bryce Mitchell we know what he can do on the outside this is a kid who is phenomenal with the ball skills he can jump and catch the ball over anybody he is a state champion at the long jump and he is finally ready to break out in his senior season so we look forward to seeing big blocks and big catches all season long between the both of those guys and that Rocket social media account showed us about the hops that Bryce Mitchell had a couple of weeks ago with the the alley-oop celebration after a practice touchdown other side of the ball, Tyson Anderson, the St. John's grad, ready for a big season, but he's had a little bit of an injury setback in fall camp. Yeah, fall camp is always tough for a lot of players. You know, um, a lot of injuries go. It's, it's a part of the game. It's what we don't like, but it's what, what we learn. Next man up, Tyson's been a staple for this defense. He's an NFL prospect. He's had a lot of tackles over his career, so the Rockets are going to miss him early in the season. I don't expect him to miss too many games, maybe one Maybe two, maybe none. Maybe he's Superman and come right back week one. But guess what? This is a kid who's going to be replaced, if anything, by Saeed Holt, who's a formidable backup. He can step up and make a lot of plays. This is a really good football team defensively. They're going to miss Tyson Anderson, and so will we. But he'll be back. Don't worry. Week one opener for the Rockets, Norfolk State under the lights at the Glass Bowl on a Saturday night. And that defense is going to be tested by the Spartan offense that they haven't played football in a while at Norfolk State. They did not play in the fall of 2020. Originally, they were going to play in the spring of 2021. They ended up not doing that, so they've not played since 2019. But in 2019, their quarterback, who is back, Jawan Carter, lit up the MEAC. So we're expecting the Spartans' offense to be able to move the ball, but will they be able to put points up against the Rocket defense? Well, you know, that's going to be a tough outing for that young quarterback over there. You know, although he's had a lot of experience, he's had a couple years off. You know, they didn't play this spring, so, you know, that's going to be a little bit of rust maker for this team. They're going to have to knock that rust off. But you know who is not rusty? Jamal Hines, Deswan Johnson, Nate Bauer, and the rest of this crew. This is a very physical defense that the Toledo Rockets have put together. They look good in practice. Let me tell you, Mark, I haven't seen a Toledo Rockets defense this stout all across the board. You got Womack in the backfield as well. I mean, there's so many good players and so many good pieces, but the key is that they can run really well, sideline to sideline. So when, the t when this defense has been getting stretched out on long run plays, it's not going to happen like that this year. So much team speed, so much confidence, and then you got to also thank the strength coach over there for getting those guys nice and ready because they look good. Rockets and Spartans, Saturday night. Mike Rob, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it.